Hello there, my name is Jenny and I'm going to be painting your face for Halloween tonight. <clears throat> so I hear you're going to a Halloween party. And whose is it? Ah, oh, a school friend. Cool. So I have my watercolour um, palettes. These are all um, tested for people with allergies and things so that it's absolutely fine on the skin. The only thing is that we don't want to put the green or the red anywhere near the eyes. Um, just due to some pigment uh, that's in them. It can be quite dangerous for the eyes. So, I have a few um, ideas for you and you can choose which one you would like to be. So, if you want to have a little look at my book. So the first one that I thought um, about was perhaps a pumpkin. And for that we would have to use some orange paint and some black and a little bit of green. So you look just like a pumpkin. Or we could be a pirate. So for a pirate we'd need red and white and black and we'd give you a scar on your cheek and a prickly beard because that's what pirates have. Alternatively you could be a lion. With a lion we'd need red and yellow and orange and white and black. We'd give you whiskers and eyebrows and you'd have to roar really fiercely. Another option is to be a skeleton. Now the colours for a skeleton are very easy, we just need black and white. I don't think we need the black because we don't want you to be too scary do we? We'll give you big black eyes just like a skeleton has. And last but not least we could make you a dragon. We'd draw lots of green scales all over your face and you'd have to have fiery red eyebrows and green scaly skin. So what do you think? The skeleton? Okay, let's do the skeleton then. Okay, so perfect. Now you've made your choice. We can start. Um, well, we could start if I could open the palette. There we go. So what we need to do first is we're going to cover your whole face in white. Which might take a I'm just going to brush all of this with my sponge. Oh, over your face. We're going to get across your forehead. And down your cheek. And if you just lift your head up for me like that, and then I can do all down your throat and your neck. And if you just want to close your lips for me. Okay, so now we can start on the detailing, which could take quite a while. So we're going to take some black um, paint now. And 
we're going to start filling in around your eyes. So, as you can see from the way we're going to blacken all this area here, some more paint. That's one eye done. Let's get some more paint. And let's do the other eye. Okay, just close with me a second. Quite hard to get the shape correct. Okay. Perfect. I'm just going to touch up a little bit around the outside with some white. Eye because it's run a little bit. There we go, and then some more for this eye. nose is all coloured in black. And I'm going to do a little bit differently than the other picture that we saw. Okay. Now I'm going to do your forehead, so just a little dab of black and just to just shade a little bit in this area here so it's grey and then the same again with your cheeks Okay, now because we want the skull to look like it's been cracked, we're going to do um, like a, a crack down the front of the skull. So I just have to get quite close, sorry. There we go. Perfect. And now for your teeth. <clears throat> so some more black paint. We're going to do all your teeth around here.
I'm going to elongate your smile to about here. So I'll take some more paint. starting to look really scary now. Okay, and I'm going to um, wash that off and touch up with some more white. wash my brush off and you look positively horrible and I'm sure you're going to scare all your friends and win your fancy dress costume. Well anyway, I've enjoyed painting your face and next time you need your face painted you know where I am. <laughs>